Hello, and welcome to another episode of Common Writer Life Lessons, the only podcast dedicated to uncovering the many teaching moments in this live-action tokusatsu series aimed at small Japanese children. Today on Lesson Forze, Common Writer fights pretty much everything except the patriarchy. Go, go, let's go. Kagayaku Come and ride up, come and ride up, ride up, ride up. So, as much as I obviously love Common Rider, this is one of the aspects of the show throughout the entire run, throughout every single season of Common Rider that infuriates me to no end. Where are the female common writers? This makes no fucking sense to me. I was recently sent a news article about a voice actress in Japan, Fuka Haruna, who saw this video online of a little girl asking her mother to buy her a common writer ghost belt. And the mother replies, I won't buy it for you because you're a girl. And Haruna wanted to run over to the kid and say, no, this is bullshit. You can be a common writer. Girls can be common writer too. And I agree with that sentiment wholeheartedly. But if you watch the show, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a girl common Rider. Sidebar, I wouldn't buy my kid the common Rider ghost belt either. But mostly because common Rider ghost is lame. I would point Hazel to something like the Gaim belt, or the double belt, or the Kuga belt, or fucking common Rider Ichigo the very first belt. Any other belt but the ghost belt. Yeah, just, no. Fuck that. This lack of female writer representation has never made any goddamn sense to me, especially when you consider that Toei also produces Super Sentai, and they've had a female ranger on the team since the very beginning. You know, I, I just, I think it's really important for people to see themselves in their fiction being the hero, and for for little girls to, to see themselves being able to transform and to call on these giant robots and to defend the universe without having to depend on boys to do it, I think that's great. I think that sends a great empowering message. And Kamen Rider should be the perfect vessel for that. Like a lot of children's shows, Kamen Rider teaches kids about morality and being virtuous and standing up for each other and looking out for each other and doing the right thing even when the right thing is really difficult or really hard. And I think these are lessons that are great for, for all young kids, regardless of their gender. And it just boggles my mind that Toei has decided that for whatever reason, Kamen Rider is a boys only club. And that's, that's fucked up. It also, from an economic standpoint, doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, they lost a sale from that mother. When when that kid, when that girl said, I want to buy this Kamen Rider ghost belt, mom should have been like, yeah, you do. But because that show is so gendered towards boys and, and young kids, moms aren't going to go out and buy their little daughters all of the fucking toys that come along with the belt. Because you're not just buying the belt. You gotta buy all those fucking icons, and there's like hundreds and hundreds of icons. Every time a new movie comes out, a new little gadget comes out for the current belt. They're losing money! Like, from an economic standpoint, this shit doesn't make any sense! You put girls in your show, you're gonna get girls buying your toys. And Kamen Rider toys, you don't just buy the belt. You gotta keep buying all these other bits and bobs that snap onto the belt. And then when there's the, the, the super power upgrade, of course you gotta buy that addition that snaps onto the belt with more toys that pop on. That's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're just lying at the table toy. What the fuck? If you're not gonna do it to teach girls about being awesome and kicking ass, at least do it to fucking fill your pockets with all this money that you're losing out on. What the fuck? Now, the current series, Kamen Rider x does feature a female writer 
uh, in the regular cast. Her name is Common Writer Poppy, and she used to be a good guy, but now she is sort of a bad guy, but might be a good guy, but is a bad guy. I'm still a couple episodes behind, so... Um, but yes, she is a common writer. She doesn't really do much except dance around and do her puppy, puppy things. But she's just wearing a common writer suit. So I guess there's that. Um, and I would like to think that this is Toei realizing that they've been leaving money on the table and that future secondary writers will be female in the future. But I thought that back in 2013 when they introduced Kamen Rider Marika, the, the Peach Kamen Rider and Kamen Rider Gaim. Um, she was cool. She was one of my favorite writers. She was introduced really early on. She was a perfect antagonist. Um, you couldn't really, she had her own motivations for being, for siding with the, the supposed evil side. Um, but she was badass. One of the greatest aspects of Kamen Rider Peach was that the actor who portrayed the character out of suit was also the actor who portrayed the character in suit. Typically in a common writer show, uh, when there's out of suit action, you have the actor doing his acting stuff. And then when they transform, they have a different actor doing the stunts and the, the choreography and things like that. So it was one of those rare occasions when those two people were the same people. So there was a there was a physicality. She could physically embody her character both on the acting side and on the fighting side. And it was really great to see. And I wish there was more of that in this series, but it makes sense that you would have a, a, a stunt team do most of the stunts and you'd have actors do what they do best. Uh, but it was this really great synergy of both all in one. And, you know, it's made Common Writer Peach one of my favorite writers in general. Um, and I thought, you know, because of, of the fan reaction to her, the positive fan reaction to her, that Toei would put more female writers in the show after that. And that's bullshit. They didn't do that. Um, so I don't know, like I'm, I'm hopeful for, for post X aid. Like I hope Poppy represents a trend and not an exception. Um, but it remains to be seen, remains to be seen. So yeah, common writer, Toei, fight the fucking patriarchy. If you're not going to do it to send uplifting, empowering messages to little girls, at least do it for the fucking money. All right, that's going to do it for uh, this episode. Uh, I'm sorry if I got a little preachy, um, but, you know, there are aspects of this show that really bug the shit out of me. So I'm not going to shy away from that in this podcast. It's not going to always be all lovey-dovey, Common Writer is awesome. Common Writer is problematic, and I'm going to talk about it when I see it, and I need to call it out. All right, thank you for listening, and uh, I'll check you later. Bye. Rider jump, jump, jump. Rider kick, kick. Come in, rider, come in, rider, rider.